How's it going? I'm so excited because today in my kitchen, I've got Diana, the physics girl. Her channel is so awesome. Oh, thank you. I'm so excited you're here. I'm so excited to be here. I've been Great. watching your stuff for a very, very long time. So I'm really happy to invade your kitchen with the science. This one I'm super excited about because it says kaboom. <laughs> it does. Well, today we're going to be doing a bunch of science kits that are made for children. We're also going to be doing a video on her channel. So I'll put a link in the description to go check that out and make sure you go subscribe to her channel, especially if you guys like science. Physics, I'm, particularly. Well, science and physics. Well, yeah. you are the physics girl. Yeah. Yeah, but this is all kinds of science here. Yeah. There's even a little bit of tech. This is super exciting. A gemstone dig kit. Yeah. I used to collect rocks when mm -hmm. I was little. I used to collect rocks too. I still do. Collect crystals, you know, we like, wow, I'm cleansing my crystals in the moonlight. <laughs> like that. Get all of these? I don't know. Oh my I don't know. Goodness. I think you dig and you find out. There's this like a little amazing. mallet. Oh, this is going to be so fun. Is this that a, a bracelet? bracelet? Is there a bracelet in here? I hope so. <laughs> this is the warm up because it's not really like the science. I it's never not unbox us. anything. I feel like that do was. Do you want to give it just a stab like right in there? Just, you know. Where, like, how do you do it? What's just the best stab way? it. Like from well, the... not right quite. <laughs> <laughs> you want to get in there, like right there, a nice corner. All right, cut, all right. Like, give it real. Go, okay. you got yeah. this. <gasps> oh, Yay! that was satisfying. Did you did you plan <gasps> this? I sure. I oh my god! It, it says totally stone <laughs> discovery. <laughs> well, we're gonna get digging. Twenty real gems. Twenty? Yeah. It's like a big block of I don't know dirt. Give us a hammer or anything? I think that's this, like a chisel. Okay. Being a paleontologist requires patience and care. I have neither of those. Well, I have care, I'm a patience. <laughs> We've got <laughs> two oh machetes. God. I had to get another one because I always felt bad like when I had friends over that they wouldn't have a machete. This is what I expected when I came to iJustine's house. Yeah. I love this. They already have sort of a little pattern. So do we kind of like try to dig where the pattern is? I don't is? know. I kind of want to just get in there. I'm okay. a little worried about your counter. Oh. Maybe you do a little bit of... <laughs> look at this. This is... Because we don't want to hurt our gemstones. Oh, no. look. We can just like chip away at the edge. Oh, yes. How are you doing this? You just got to get in there. Oh. Get on the edge. Give it a little jam. Oh, that is so oh, hard. I see oh. a jam. Wait. No, you can't use your hands. What, oh, kind, of, what kind of paleontologist are you? <laughs> <laughs> We've got a rock, I see it. We must be delicate. I see. Oh, that's amazing. Two gemstones. I think there's three. Three, I can't count. <laughs> Why didn't the kit come with a machete? I don't know. That's the real question. Like a kid machete? Oh, <gasps> there's another one. I'm sorry. It's okay. I've got you. <laughs> I mean, there. We. Oh! oh! Careful. Oh! Don't taint the rocks. <gasps> Look, our first ex excavation it's... is here. Now, how do you get them out? <laughs> what are we gonna do with these? Oh, I'm gonna put them on my shelf. Okay. Do you think this, oh! this one has a hole in it already? <laughs> nice. Do you think that if we put nice. this in water, it would all just melt away? Probably, it would just dissolve. I love science. Let's try it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh God, oh, I want this one. Look at that one, that's yeah. nice. That one's gonna pop out pretty soon. Do you think there's something else we can put in here that would make it thinner? I'm totally on board with us trying things. It's a little diluted with the water, but... Why did I feel it's so full? Cool? We think Tin Can Robot next. Yeah, because it's adorable and you get to make a walking, wobbling, bog-eyed robot. Look how cute he is. <laughs> it's so cute. Do you think we need to have our own can? So. Should I pop a LaCroix? Do people still like LaCroix? Oh, I'm a fan. Do you want one? They might be moldy. <laughs> Did, do they expire? They might be moldy? I don't know. I, I don't, don't think that from my, in my scientific <laughs> uh, experience. I don't think that happens to LaCroix. We've got a coconut. Cheers. LaCroix. Mm. So the maybe expired LaCroix. Mm -hmm. uh, 2018. Okay, so but at the end of 2018. Mm. <laughs> Do you think we need a battery? I don't know. No one ever likes to include batteries. It's like the goal of this is to use a tin can just as the body of a, a robot. little robot. Okay, so, does it give us instructions or do we I'm just sure. figure it out? Or we just figure it out. Look at all the stuff. We just put these in here. Do we need to screw it so. in there? Drop the motor, push it into four pegs. Four pegs. Nice, nice. The arms are now being attached. I think I'm making it worse there. by there trying to help you. <laughs> We're making a lot of progress. I just want everyone to know. He has very long arms. I think that they decided to trim their hands, but oh. we're not going to. Oh, we're amazing. gonna leave it just like that. I think this screwdriver saved the day. It really did. Test number one. Can robot 
1.0. Oh, it cute. works. That's pretty cute. I feel like we're missing something right here. This is teamwork. <laughs> teamwork makes the dream work. I mean, this is my dream. So I guess we turn it on. Are yeah. you, okay, are you ready for this? I, I've never been more ready for anything. I, yeah. Oh, it's going no. the wrong way! <laughs> Oh, no! Look, we can just turn his eye backwards. There we go. Put his hands this way. Oh, perfect. Bye-bye. <laughs> He's <laughs> dead! Maybe if you switch these wires. Oh! Hey, uh... Okay, but this is not the way that it told us to do it. It's not the way it told us to do it. At all! Mm. Well, I would like to well, call this a success. We're okay. really incredibly intelligent, and I think you guys should give this video a thumbs up. As far as a science kids for eight years old plus go, we got it nailed. <laughs> Get it. Okay, well, even Maddie doesn't like it. We have done a lot of things. We can work on any assembly line you need. This says there's 25 experiments. <laughs> Let's see how the one goes. Oh, that, that was the thing. advanced move. It's, it's got some ingredients. Yeah, here, let's show them. It's got iron powder, citric acid. I think this one's gonna be pretty exciting. Let's see what we have in here. Safety goggles. Oh, uh, there's only one pair. You can have them. This is for a child. Oh my gosh, that's really... That's very small. That's so small. It's like squished <laughs> to your head. Look at all these chemicals. Oh, let's mix them all together. so many options. This is fun. <laughs> this candle, candle has the most warnings I've ever seen on a candle. <laughs> Comets of M&M's? Was there M&M's? <sighs> no, I feel like you have to know. I don't like BYO M&M's. I don't, I didn't know. <laughs> so a lot of these require things that I don't have, which are in most normal households, most people would probably have them. So this magic potion one looks easy, I think. Yeah. I, I have cooking oil, vinegar. Step one. Ask an adult for help. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Can you help me? Can you Tyler, help? can you help us? We need 35 milliliters of hot water and 10 milliliters of vinegar. They gave us food coloring, but they, they, didn't, did. bring, they didn't give us M&Ms. This is shocking. 40 milliliters of oil. Is this the trick? Okay, so you can see the two layers of oil and water because they have different densities. Is you this, had a question. Is this what we did? Is this done? This is, did we do it? I don't is think there a this next step? Did we do it? No. Is this it? I mean, if you're a kid and you're like, whoa, why don't they mix? And you can see the layers of liquid. You're right, it is That's cool. But it also cool. says, now add the oil with a plastic spatula, two spoons of sodium turbiter. Sodium turbiter? Do you know what that is? Sodium turbiter. So, so what? <laughs> My sister and I was made slime, and yeah. I couldn't pronounce this type of <laughs> ingredient, so I'm yeah. calling it turbiter. Now we need one level a spoon of sodium turbiter. Where's my sodium turbiter? Sodium turborate? Turbiter! So if you can't pronounce a ingredient, you can just say turbiter. Okay. So we're gonna put we this sodium call turbiter. We sodium turbiter and see what happens. Okay. In this particular case, that the turbiter is sodium bicarbonate, but. <laughs> sodium turbiter. That much? That looks. That looks cool to me and can you get a good view of this because this might truly be magic who who knows what's gonna happen are we're you ready learning, we're learning you want to mix it do i mix yeah while you I okay so are we making slime i don't know is it truly magic huh. no it's science well it well it bubbled i mean cool what if we add more I don't really, yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm not really sure what we we're looking for. Oh Whoa. God, oh geez, oh boy, we'll put it in oh, here. So, yeah. No? The sodium bicarbonate moves slowly in the oil until reaching the vinegar. Here it reacts with the acetic acid of the vinegar giving off carbon dioxide. It is this gas that creates the effervescent bubbles. We as adults needed to know this. And now we know. Oh. We have accomplished a lot today. We did way more science than I even usually do on my channel. We should bring back <laughs> the dig. Oh. Did it get any easier? It didn't really. Oh, it just smells. Well, I think that we might have gotten most of our gemstones out. I mean, there's still a lot of these little guys, but realistically, I'm probably not gonna make a bracelet out of it. Keep oh, digging. something! Keep digging. Look at this one! Ooh. Wow. I mean, just kind of like with the knife. Do you want to? I'll just get it in there. This is so fun. This was my favorite. I feel like I shouldn't be digging while you're digging with you your knife. You shouldn't. I'm gonna put the knife away. I almost burned myself with a candle. I, I didn't listen to any of the warnings. 
Well, guys, thank you so much. And a huge thank you to Diana for coming over. She brought all of these incredible sets over for us to try out today. <laughs> thank you so much for doing them. I've never, like, even as a kid who was interested in science, I've never done anything like this. And I was like, I know the person who would be able to unbox with me and test everything out, have some fun. So honestly, like these gemstones were so much fun to dig out. <laughs> and we definitely didn't do it the proper way. No, but we did it with machetes. We did. So don't forget, yeah. when you decide to do laundry, you have a quartz in your pocket. Oh my God. So <laughs> just explode. <laughs> well, this was so much fun. Make sure you guys go check out her channel. I'll put all of the links in the description below. And this was incredible. I'm so excited to see what we do on your channel. I'm really excited for it. I'm, I'm terrified. <laughs> ah!